Sparkling Songs by Ariana Grande on Amazon Music. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Rack of Lamb. It is hot in New York to die, and I'm here finishing up my homemade Vietnamese iced coffee. If you guys didn't know, my other half is part Vietnamese. While that's not the reason why I love the Vietnamese cuisine, it certainly makes me want to whip up more Vietnamese dishes at home. So, in today's video, I will be showing you one of my favorite ways to make chicken leg quarters or chicken thighs using a Vietnamese lemongrass marinade. I'll be baking and broiling them in this 12-in-1 air fryer toaster oven from Sierra. Thank you so, so much for sending me this to try. I love this appliance. I've baked chocolate chip cookies in them, made pizza, and Vietnamese lemongrass chicken without even having to turn on my own oven. So check out my recipe, let me know your thoughts, and if you enjoyed my video, please give me a like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. To prepare the marinade, you will need lemongrass, scallions, shallots, garlic, and ginger. Finally, chop only the white part of one stalk of scallion. You'll also need about two tablespoons of minced ginger. and two cloves of minced garlic. Three to four tablespoons of diced shallots. Now remove the green top and ends of two stalks of lemongrass, then peel away the outer layers and finely mince the tender white interior. If you're even considering leaving this ingredient out, I say don't do it. You want the flavors and aromatics of lemongrass infused in your chicken thighs. After all the slicing and dicing, transfer the scallions, ginger, garlic, shallots, and lemongrass into a large Ziploc bag. Add 2 tablespoons of fish sauce, 2 tablespoons of light soy sauce, 2 tablespoons of dark brown sugar, 1 tablespoon of lime juice, and 1 tablespoon of cooking oil. If you don't have any children at home or prefer your chicken spicy, feel free to add some chili sauce as well. Now mix it up until your marinade is well blended. Into the Ziploc bag, I will be adding three leg quarters weighing a total of about two and a half pounds. You may use chicken thighs for this recipe as well. I happen to have leg quarters sitting in my freezer, so I decided to use them instead. Now seal up the bag, ensuring that most of the air has been removed, then flip it back and forth and give the bag a squeeze here and there to coat the chicken with a delicious marinade. Once you feel you've given the leg quarters a thorough massage, leave them in the fridge to marinate overnight, flipping occasionally. To bake the chicken, I will be using this air fryer oven from Sierra. It features 12 preset options, several of which include air fry, toast, bake, convection, broil, dehydrate, defrost, and wings. The air fryer oven comes with a grill basket, grill net, and baking pan that can be moved between three cooking positions. The removable tray below catches any crumbs while cooking, making cleaning so much easier. To select your desired cooking function, simply turn the dial until the option is highlighted on the LED display. Adjust the temperature and time and or turn on the oven light through gentle presses of the touchpad.
To bake the lemongrass chicken, I'm going to spray a light coating of cooking oil on the grill basket. Now transfer the leg quarters onto the basket, skin side up. Bake at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 35 to 40 minutes. More time may be necessary depending on the size of your leg quarters. Flip the chicken halfway to ensure the skin is cooked on all sides. Through the oven window, you can witness the transformation and browning of the chicken skin. What's also great about this air fryer oven is it helps eliminate grease and reduces calorie intake, as you can see here. After baking for 35 to 40 minutes, flip the chicken back over and broil for several minutes until the skin reaches your desired crispiness. I ended up broiling for 5 minutes in the middle position. Before plating your leg quarters, be sure to check if the internal temperature of the chicken measures 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Bingo! Now let's plate and serve these beauties. Cut the chicken up if you prefer to serve them separately. Eat them alongside some rice or noodles and pickled vegetables, which you can find the recipe to on my channel. Don't forget the Vietnamese dipping sauce and sriracha. If you enjoyed my video, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.